Hey guys, here's a quick video on how to upgrade the modem. So I have this modem that I realized that my internet speed is actually up to 200 megabytes. But this modem, if you look it up, uh, it's a surfboard modem. And it only produces up to 30 megs of uh, download. So I was essentially capped at 30 megs, uh, sorry, sorry, 30 megabit per second when I can get up to 200 just because of this modem. So I went on internet uh, on Amazon and got this. Uh, this one supposedly can go up to 1000 megabytes, megabits, sorry, per second. Uh, it's a Doxis 3.0. Now the newest is Doxis 3.1, uh, but I don't have that kind of speed. So, so it didn't really matter. I just used this one, okay? All right, now we, you have, once you have everything hooked up, so make sure that you use their ethernet cord. Uh, one thing about the ethernet cord I read about is that the speeds are different, so I didn't use the old ethernet cord I have. Uh, so make sure you use their ethernet cord that's provided. Make sure you use their power cord. So you connect the ethernet cord, coaxial cable, and power cord in the back of this, and the ethernet goes up to the router. Here's my router. Um, and then once you all the lights turn green, those, so these lights turn green and then this earth for this model, that means it's online. And then this just is the Wi-Fi router that's hooked up, uh, that's flashing. So, so that's good. So this is all good. Now we're going to go on the computer. All right, guys. Uh, so now we're on the computer. Uh, you can see on the bottom here, my internet is actually off. I'm not activated. Now, uh, the modem does give you uh, some instructions on how to how to do this. Uh, here's all the phone numbers on the back of it. Here's all the phone numbers in the back of it. You have Comcast, Cox, Cable One, uh, Charter Spectrum, Cable Time Warner Spectrum, Wow, uh, you know, all these kinds of um, phone numbers that's uh, for activation. But now we're, we're not going to try to mess around with the phone number. Today is a Saturday. Uh, I'm not going to try to mess around. I'm going to try to do it online myself, okay? So for Spectrum, I am in the Cleveland, Ohio area. For Spectrum, I'm going to use spectrum.net self-install. That's the link you want to go to. All right, make sure you pull that up before you even disconnect your internet. All right, uh, and then once you have that pulled up, it's going to go into this. Now, you should have a sign-in before you disconnect your uh, old modem, okay? Make sure you get all this set up, right? And then once you get to this page, actually this one, this p address will redirect you to this page right here to activate that spectrum.net. So I think you can probably just go straight here. Okay, and it's gonna ask for your username and password, uh, but make sure you have, you know what it is before you disconnect your internet, right? So connect and turn on equipment, create a username, already have a username, right? Sign in. So, so notice that even though I'm not signed in, it is letting me uh, get inside of this, uh, even though I'm not on the web internet, right? See down here, I'm not on the internet. Uh, it is still letting me get in here. So that's that's a very good sign here, okay? So it's saying, however, it is recognizing my old modem. See, here's my old modem address. Uh, if you wonder if uh, what modem you have, here's the, um, here's the modem uh, Mac address. You should be able to find it on the bottom of it. Uh, on the new one, the same thing. Okay, so here's my old modem. So I need to update that. Let's take a look. Uh, so I'm going to click replace modem. Now I know my new modem's address. All right, now I got my new modem put in. I just click activate modem and it's going to check. Hopefully this works because I don't want, really want to, don't want to call anybody. I want this to be done. You know, this is a, like a 15 minute walk work. If this all can all be done online. Ooh, ah, all right. So it's not asking me to call, uh, but I'm, I'm going to try that again. Okay, so you guys can see the whole process. I'm actually going to try to sign in one more time. Um, from here. Let's see if it's going to give me any trouble. Okay, so Again, I'm, pull, I'm pulling up the auto activation screen. Looks like it's still got my old address. I'm gonna replace the modem. Uh, that is not what I want. Hold up, sorry. Uh, let me get the, the MAC address again. Uh, 
That is a MAC address, right? Yeah, I can't be wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 digits. Activate modem. I'm going to try that again. It's possible that this one aired because I... Oh, there it is. Yeah, so make sure I, I waited too long before I try to do this. So I think I got, actually got locked out. Um, that was probably the problem. All right, guys, uh, it worked. Um, I actually got locked out a little bit because I, I stayed logged in for too long and didn't do anything. Now you can see my old modem is offline. A new modem is online. Uh, let's see. Yo, you own the mo this modem. Yes, I do. Uh, oh, here it goes. Yeah, I actually even restarted the modem for you automatically. That's great. I'm liking I'm liking the system, guys. I'm. I always had to call the t the, the suspension or whoever the the ser internet service provider is, and it's always a pain to get connected to the right person and the right person put you on hold for like half an hour you know it's always a pain this, this is exactly what happens when you know you call the provider too it's it's like it just the lights you just recycle the, the modems and stuff okay guys look at this so on the bottom here it's no longer uh, internet is off uh, it's it's all good, I think. Let's go. Let's try to go to Google. Very nice. Let's check some flights. Oops, flights. There it is, and I'm back online. All right. So if you find this video helpful, uh, just make sure that you have everything set up uh, over here before you even log in. Oops. So uh, actually, yeah, this is good. So look, take a look at this page, right? You gotta make sure you have a username and password before uh, before you get in, right? And make sure you have a page, whoever, whichever company you are with. In my case, is Spectrum in Cleveland, Ohio area, all right? Um, and you can auto activate yourself. Just make sure you have the MAC address on the back of your modem. That's back over here, back down there. Is P it says. This one says uh, HFC Mac ID, okay? So, and then that one says, I think Mac, uh, it's something Mac, M-A-C, right? Uh, make sure you have all of that, activate, so you can activate yourself. You don't have to have anybody come to your house. You don't have to call anybody. Uh, it was a, probably a total, if I didn't have to make this video, it's probably a total of 15 minute process for me uh, to actually get everything working which is pretty quick, right? You, I unplugged the modem, replugged the, reset the Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi router, did everything within basically 15 minutes, okay? So hopefully you find this video helpful. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe because it really helps the channel uh, and hopefully your setup goes well as well. Thank you. Uh, guys, I forgot to record this for you guys. This is a new speed I got. So my Spectrum, plan and it's actually up to 200 megabits per second with the old modem I was only getting 30 here and 5 over here uh, so now just by doing the modem upgrade I was to get 200 <laughs> download and double the up speed uh, so definitely worth the money the modem I paid for it was $80 uh, on Amazon so definitely check that out uh, hopefully this helps